heard your cries I saw your tears And felt your fears I said nah I've been working with the broadband bullies Don't tell you Let's go Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy NextGen720, and I am back with another video. My God, my God, my God. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Man, I haven't uploaded a video in a few days. Um, I've, I've given you guys the shows. The shows you got. I did Beastfire yesterday. Uh, day before yesterday. I'm sorry. Actually, I did Porter Rock show yesterday. Shout out to Porter Rock. I had a great time over on the channel doing the show. Um, we had to, I had to bring I had to bring the broadband bullies through. Post up man's Xbox juice. You know, we went over there and turned up a little bit. Um look out for the multiplayer tonight. We're gonna be shooting at around eight o'clock. Uh but anyway, uh we talked about a topic yesterday on Portal Rock show. We talked about Star Wars Battlefront. And if you guys know me, you've been rocking out with my channel for a while. Um uh, I was very excited to get my hands on Star Wars Battlefront. I couldn't wait to I couldn't wait to play it. You know what I mean? I love uh third person shooters and that those are my favorite by far i love third person shooters and i really liked star wars battlefield one you know what i mean it was it was an okay game uh it was lacking in content and i think they probably kind of killed the game with the uh the dlc but ea promised to right their wrongs you know what i mean uh as far as the free dlcs and stuff but now we know how they plan to make that money back now i didn't know this unbeknownst to me rather to unlock everything within the game, uh, the characters, the heroes, and stuff, you know, it will cost you a total of a little more than twenty-one hundred dollars. And they have this whole play, sorry, pay-to-win mode or method, you know what I mean? And the gaming community is outraged. Uh, it took one guy over eighty hours of grinding to unlock one out. Well, I'm sorry, to unlock one character, which is just like downright disgusting, like just crazy. It took him over eighty hours to. Um, unlock a character they have certain things cheats like bubble fat you can select him and you can get a perk where you can fly around and be invincible through the whole stage and not die like this kind of op penis and gamers are lashing out gamers are upset but not just gamers believe it or not now some developers are taking shots and taking digs at uh, ea over this you know over this uh pay to win loot box fiasco listen and before i get into what this developer was saying about ea taking little shots and of course in advertising his own game at the same time I'm kind of conflicted hear me out right I don't know maybe I don't maybe I don't agree with the nickel and diamond that they're doing but if you want to pay for a certain character I really don't have an issue with that you know what I mean but at the same token you know what I mean they that same character that you're paying for grinding 80 hours is far too excessive but what I do have a problem with in game you know uh, I give you an example Gears of War I love the game now you don't have to spend money you can spend in game gold but when you buy these these elite boxes or packages it's like you're gambling it's like the same thing with 2k you don't you're not knowing what you're you're not you're not gonna know what you're gonna get you know what I mean I give you an example uh, I like this Kanta character Kanta characters on Gears of War right you know the bag the call I, I i have i have yet to get one i done bought packs and pack i have unlocked one yet you know what i mean so i have a problem with that but if you want to buy for a certain perk within a game or character not really my issue but it just hits me and he's like this is it's like a flip you know a uh a, 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 a cross 22 here they i don't i don't think you should put that character a behind a paywall or make that character so hard to obtain your own like for 80 hours for a character that's very very obsessive man um let me go into this one developer here that was had a lot of stuff to say about ea um it says here uh developer takes the aim at ea over a star wars battle for two controversy so unless you have spent the last several days under a rock you have no doubt come across news regarding the controversy surrounding star wars battlefront 2 um it says review copies are circulating various media outlets um, let's get down to the juicy part. You know, I mean, some, a couple of sites gave it a six because of the old, the online catastrophe. Uh, it says pre-orders were allegedly canceled in large quantity, and some developers tired to the project even reported receiving death threats. Now listen, I you know, now that's a little obsessive. But you know what's crazy, right? Uh, I remember talking to Mooch and crap and those guys, right? 
What year Star Wars Battle for it came out in 2015 or whatever the case? I believe it was 2015, right? And I told, I think it might have been 2016, I don't know. But I, and I told those guys, uh, and it was the same year that Microsoft was touting of them having the best exclusive line, uh, lineup in history, right? And I told them that Sony was going to win because of the Star Wars deal. Because Star Wars is such a huge franchise in itself, and it has what you call a cult following. You have gamers that were going to go out and buy that console. I'm sorry, you're going to have non-gamers. Super Duper Cash is going to go out and buy that console just because... Um, Darth Vader was on the front of it, whether you like the game or not, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, since his pre-orders were allegedly canceled in large quantities, in certain quantities, some developers tied to the project even reported receiving death threats. And it started last Friday. And, and this thing since last Friday, and I didn't know, like I said again, I didn't know it was this big of a deal, and sometimes I'll be a little late to get up on stuff, and, uh, and gamers are furious, gamers are outraged. Uh, I believe someone also hacked EA's Twitter page, was sending out a bunch of crazy stuff. Like, gamers are upset with this now this is a business um and i'm gonna say this again i'm gonna uh, make this clear i don't have a problem with buying in-game stuff that i want okay if i want a certain character i don't have a problem with that but i do have a problem with the pay to win aspect uh, you can buy boba fett and buy a, a, a pacific perk for him and he's he's uh indestructible you know what i mean he has uh, infinity health. Now, I think that's very cheesy, you know what I mean? And if you want the game to be taken seriously, maybe on an eSports level, they had the gut that that's, that's very, very cheesy. That's, that's when it's horrible. That I don't agree with, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, this, uh, this developer here, StarCraft, it says, number of hours it takes to earn all the stuff in StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty Campaign Zero. And basically, he was talking about the hours, how people was talking about, um, you know, uh, I was grinding for 80 to 70 hours to get a character like it's crazy, you know what I mean? And it's going around StarCraft developer, go down and list several things. How many hours to achieve, what it takes to unlock the co-op. Like they was really taking a dig at EA, this one developer here, you know what I mean? But listen, my question is to you guys, um, is all the hate warranted? You know what I mean? I know EA is such a huge company, they have a bullseye on their back. And they promise again to, uh, to right their wrongs with... Uh, what the Lakers said was Star Wars Battlefront 1. They made all the DLC free in part 2. But now we know how they plan to make that money back. With a pay to win method. Now, I know my brother Jay Wag, shout out to him, part of the broadband bullies. Listen, I know right, he probably looking at the straight probably as at his, at his wit's end. he been complaining about loot crates and, and uh, pay to win stuff since I met him. You know what I mean? But what are you guys' thoughts? Are gamers overreacting? Uh, did EA potentially ruin a great franchise? Because again, I like DICE. I like Star Wars Battlefront. Let me be honest with you. I take Star Wars Battlefront before Destiny, before Duty, probably not before Gears. I like third person shooters. You know what I mean? I like, I think DICE does amazing work. And that game, my God, it looks so good graphically on the Xbox One X. I was running through the, I was running through the campaign and I was like, whoa, blew my mind, you know? You know, blew my mind. Now, my one issue I do have with um, Star Wars Battlefront is that um, the online needs to be sorted. That took us a long time, like an hour to get a match. They need to make it simple. Send your friend, your friends to invite you to join the lobby. The way they got the online thing is is is, is horrible. The online stuff on on on, on uh, Star Wars Battlefront is hard. When they got the lobbies, your friends, and nah, 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 that's trash. Make it simple. Pick a mode and write your friends get it in you know but anyway in the comment section below let me know what you guys think has ea finally lost their mind is this the beginning of the end for ea will gamers stand up and voice their opinion with their wallets here's the thing right i say this time and time and again it doesn't matter i mean they're gonna care for a little while but companies really don't care about you fussing and complaining it's when you affect the bottom dollar and start spending your money that's when things change you know, you can, you, you, what's the point of you, 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 you protested in the street and you're still going to sit back and, 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 and spend your money with them. You know what I mean? So we're going to see how this go. Like I said, uh, right now, this really got the industry and social media and the gaming community on fire. But this is your boy, Next Year 720. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Bacon, 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 bacon. Listen, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, 
please do so. I put on some of the best shows here on YouTube, man. I ain't jobbing. Like you said, man, I'm, I'm overworking. I'm appreciated around these gaming streets. You guys are gonna miss me when I'm gone, man. I'm bugging out. Bacon, bacon, bugging out. This is your boy, Nexus 720. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'm out of here. Bang.